The Catala Foundation is a Palawan-based non-government organization working on the conservation of highly threatened species. Ang pinakauna talaga naming proyekto ay tinatawag na Philippine Cockatoo Conservation Program kung saan ang ating flagship species dito ay ang Philippine Cockatoo. Kaya nga ang pangalan ng aming organisasyon ay tinatawag na Katala Foundation dahil sa pinakaunang conservation program na naitatag ng Katala Foundation. So we started in 1998 and our pilot site was in Nara, Palawan, sa isang islang coral island na maliit tinatawag na Rasa Island. Nag-umpisa tayo ng 23 to 25 individuals lamang ng mga katala na nandun sa isla. The Philippine cockatoo before was uh, distributed all over the Philippines but then uh, became locally extinct in many areas and its threshold is now here in Palawan. It's a special species at the brink of extinction. That means without conservation measures, they would become extinct in the wild. Ang Philippine cockatoo ay isang lowland forest specialist. Ito ay na naninirahan sa mga mababang kagubatan. Ito rin ay napakadaling mapasok at masira dahil accessible ito sa mga tao. First of all, you need to do research on the biology, ecology, and on the threads. Uh, once you have learned more and what are the needs and the gaps, we go into conservation of the species itself and the habitat through the establishment of protected areas. Nung pumasok yung Katala Foundation, yun na, hinto-hinto na, tsaka na pangalagaan na talaga yung Rasa Island. Unti-unti na rin nagabalik yung ano, mga puno. Yung mga kahoy, tapos yung mga corals, wala na rin nag-illegal. So we have trained and deputized uh, wildlife enforcement officers that protect the protected area, that patrol every day. We do conservation education to raise awareness about the role of the species in the environment. Over 20 years na tayo ng conservation and we are very happy and proud that we are now nearing 400 individuals after many years. From the cockatoo, we expanded into other species, for example, the, the Palawan pangolin, Palawan deer species, Palawan porcupine. These are all our flagship species. And I added to the flagship species by bringing the Palawan forest turtle in because that is a highly threatened species, also endemic to Palawan and at the brink of extinction. Around the species, we designed the Palawan freshwater turtle conservation program. The Palawan forest turtle is difficult to manage in captivity. They are prone to stress. We have been trying so many methods or setups uh, until finally we cracked this mystery of the Palawan forest turtle. Then in 2018, we had its first uh, captive bred in our center. We are the first to breed the Palawan forest turtle in captivity. After breeding the species now, we are successful. It looks as if it will continue like that, and it's time to release them back to the wild. In 2007, we expanded our work to work on the conservation and research on the Philippine pangolin. The Palawan pangolin or Philippine pangolin uh, is one of eight pangolin species worldwide. Uh, one of four that occur here in Asia. And it's the only species that occurs in the Philippines and within the Philippines, it's limited to Palawan. Based on this research, we came up with a methodology to assess the abundance of the species. The best method to do the search is, of course, in the night and with the help of a dog. Here, the idea was born to, to use sniffer dogs or detection dogs. Why not trying to train local dogs, Aspin? Pantas is a Tagalog for something like genius because she was very eager. She was always the first. She was working hard for something. She, she really showed a lot of individuality. We are back to going to the forest, training in at site day and night, a systematically search a 200 hectare plot for the occurrence and the abundance of pangolins, so that this will help us to get an idea about the remaining wild population. It's a Palawan endemic, that's why people in Palawan 
they are proud to call it Palawan pangolin and not just Philippine pangolin. Ang pinaka-indicator mo sa iyong conservation program maliban sa malawak na na mga protected areas at saka yung pumahayten mo yung kaalaman at mababago mo yung mga behavior ng mga tao. Education is a big integral part of every KFI programs and projects. Continued education can fill the gap with the hope that the desired behavioral change can be achieved. The success story of transformation of the poachers into wildlife wardens is made possible greatly by the Katala Foundation through the active involvement of our local partners, particularly the local government units and the community. Yung trabaho ko dati hunting talaga. Trabaho namin na inla nila tatay. Nag-akit kami ng bundok, magkorte ng kahoy. Pero yung huli na, na nakapasok ako dito, naisip ko na rin na ganun nga, bawal pala. Hindi lang po para ito sa mga ibon, kundi para din sa tao. Lahat ng buhay ilang at ang tao, pareho lang ang pangangailangan, di ba? Habitat protection is really the most successful conservation tool for the species. We need to protect more uh, core areas or more uh, viable populations. We are doing this because we love the, the animals and I don't want these animals to become extinct. For me, this is a treasure here in Palawan and we should be proud of.